Hello and welcome back to the Unstoppable Force Paradox. In uh, this episode we will continue expanding as far as we can with the eventual hopes of forming Scandinavia. So, I am hoping that Comania will start spreading Buddhism. Oh look, they are back to being Buddhist. Last time I checked they uh, were Tengri again. But it looks like there's only two, or well three, counting the Muslim. That's still uh, Tengri, or another religion. So that's interesting. I'm hoping that Khomeinia... Actually, Turkestan is invading Khomeinia. Turkestan is winning, I think. Yep, it seems like he is. Anyway, even if he manages to take on Khomeinia here, uh, there will be a lot of Buddhists in his realm to help out our cause. And of course they will split and stuff. That's what always happens. Um, Alright. So England is a new dynasty. They are no longer Karlings and are instead of Sönderborgs. So Francia is fighting Hispania. And Francia is winning. Francia can currently raise 18,000 troops. Which is not much considering. Um... England is winning, and they are in that war. We still have a truce with him for four more years. Uh, we could start a plot to kill him, and hope for the best. I guess no one will join for now, but they might eventually, like last time. Actually, there's a few. There's a few that might uh, join. Let's grab a jeweled necklace. Half sister is grown up. Uh, wait, Fredrik Hysingsson of Möre? Um, wait, what did I just do? Refused your invitation to the. F oh, to the feast! Okay. Uh, I thought it was the court. Right. That's because he's a Hindu. Welcome all. Möre, by the way. Möre, County of Möre. Is he? Is he, uh... No, alright. I thought I converted most of the Hindus. Might have been one of these guys, then. I know him. He, he is the Hindu. Is this guy a Hindu? No, he's a Buddhist. Alright, so we only have one Hindu. One too much. Hmm. We'll probably do best in uh, saving up some more money. At least a bit. Um, Jor war over Novgorod Sversky. Alright, so they're fighting for this province. They, they can do that for all I care. But are you losing this war? Yes, you are. You're losing it quite badly as well. Um, but Turkestan will not be able to take away land from the Buddhists, and unfortunately the Muslim as well. So we'll see what happens. By the way, what is happening here in the Ismailids? Uh, what's this? Is it the Byzantine Empire? Might be. Yassidi Revolter winning. Uh, Belek is trying to conquer Asov. That might be him up here. And then they are attacking in a holy war for Kartli. Oh, right, they're taking this. They might as well clean up. By the way, it looks like the Ismailids have actually lost territory to, uh, to the other Ismailids. Man, I'm going to have troubles keeping them apart. I think. No, actually, it's the Byzantine Empire that has taken back territory from the Shia Caliphate. Hmm, I did not expect that. Not at all, actually. Um, anything exciting happening here? No, they're fighting the Byzantine Empire. Not very exciting. Mostly Jains down here. All right. Trygve is no longer Marshal. Let's grab a new one. Research uh, military tech. Why not? As my... Republic built anything more? No. 
Alright, so Venice seems to be the only surviving uh, Merchant Republic. If only... Well, we can embargo them. But I don't, I don't care enough to do that. Definitely not. Oh, right, we're, we stand to inherit this as well. Hmm. Can we attack him? Oh, we can. Then we probably should, and then we should take Veligrad. Hmm. Yeah, I see no reason not to, to be honest. No allies, no nothing. What is this? Oh, he owns this! I didn't even know. Alright, well, let's take Veligrad. Move all the troops down here. Actually, let's make sure that they meet up first. At least this chunk here. Right, now you can get a move on. Along with the rest. You can all follow along. Okay. Hmm. Uh, King Boris of Lithuania. Well, sure, I'll, I'll join. Whatever. Hmm, nice. So we, they actually sent their army over here, for some reason, on the boats, I think. And we managed to counter them. Who are you? Um, let him rot. Can we ransom you? No. Um, I think everyone that has this lit up here can be ransomed. Seems to be a new feature that I have missed. Yeah, let's ransom all we can. I see no reason to keep them in jail for no reason. Right, my concubines are starting to get pregnant. Which is excellent. Eh, I should be able to siege this. Yep. Alright, so now it's ours. Let's revoke all of this crap. Yes. And the priest. Revocation spree. Aha! Why? <laughs> no. By the way, can I get anyone to join this plot? This guy! <laughs> Look at the plot power I would get from him. 124%. Um, so, I need to give this away to someone. Can I usurp this? Oh. Apparently not. Well, then. Let's hire a noble. Um, yes. You will do. Have it. Sweet. Dismiss all of the troops. Ah, let's keep them here. Um, West Dvinian Peasant Revolt. Hmm. So this is starting to look really nice. We have uh, this coastline almost entirely locked down. And we're safe from East Francia. Um, by the fact of uh, Brandenburg and... Veligrad being in the way. Hope it stays that way. None of my vassals conquer Veligrad. Actually, I don't know if they can, because I'm at high authority. I don't think they can, actually. Nice. The roads just aren't safe anymore. Nice. Damn. The plot is revealed. No. Come on, another plot. Kaboom. 
All right, so I got a son. So he started with five. Of course, he's a Buddhist. Of course, he started with five learning. Uh, reject cruelty. I've raised a rune stone to my cruelty. But I will try to get rid of it anyway. So, after 100 years under the Kingdom of Svitjot, the Republic of Ostlandet is no longer considered a your part of the Kingdom of Norway. Lovely! Um, that means he won't hate us as much. Just a bit. Damn it. Are they all Norwegians? Yeah, they, they seem to all be Norwegians. Damn. I wanted them to stay Norse. Oh well, can't have everything. Right, can you die already? No. I don't need more people, this is excellent. Almost 200% plot power. He is going to die. Nice! So now they have a queen. And, ooh. The heirs are going to be Van Dorestad. That's excellent! That means they're no longer Carlings. So, is East Francia doing anything? Yes, they are. They've probably sent away their troops. So what we are going to do is to take, uh, I think, Helland. Um, yeah, it's, it's the better province. It's either that or Bornholm. And Bornholm simply isn't worth it, to be honest. Um, so, let's, uh, let's attack the queen. She still has a few allies, but we can probably take the, the thing, the province, before anyone reaches us. And let's call in the allies. Have you all go to Skåne. And have you all gather up here. Uh, I guess I can dismiss you. Nice. So who joined? Francia, Bavaria and East Francia. Alright. I simply need to... Catholic Revolt? But where? Oh, it's here! Nice! I can take care of it easily. Actually, I need some... some generals for that army. Valdemar is now my prisoner. By the way, I should get the elephants. Yes, let's get the elephants! Aha! Oh, they went there. Bohemia declared war. Hmm? You sure about that, Bohemia? How many troops do you have? You have 8,000. That's not much. And uh, let's call in the guys. And also, let's see. We can probably hire a mercenary band. Yeah, let, let's do it. So we have lots of troops on the backup. Uh, horse archers? Uh, sure, why not? Horse archers are nice. What we want to do is end the war with uh, with Denmark quickly. And of course the revolt. Uh, another host? Really? That necessary? That's 100%. And I'll force you to convert. So, let's send these over to Liebeck. And... Uh, yeah, the rest are going down here to... Helland. We'll see who shows up. We have the troops to take care of everyone. <laughs> Might just imprison this guy again. For fun. I'm worried about him uh, joining plots against me, in case there are any. Right now there seems to be none, but who knows. Alright, another son. Ooh! A quick son. Yes! Finally. Siege. 
As I thought, all of these guys' troops are far away. So this will be easy to siege. And I want to keep it fully sieged. And as the war score will start ticking. Uh, let's rot. Man, I have a lot of troops now. And I'm earning money. Pacifist power, that's all I say. Let's go and take care of another province. By take care, I mean ravage. Peacefully. Actually, let's go down to Liebeck. I don't trust sieging or assaulting 200... Uh, uh, or 2,000 um, retinue garrisons. Nice, this is almost won already. 90%, let's go to Holstein. Siege that. 95%, another one. 99, and one more. There we go, 100%. So, this province is probably going to be better than uh, m one of the ones I have. Åland, I think. I'm going, I'm going to get rid of Åland. First, I need to revoke all of this. Wish there was a quicker way to do this. And here we have a problem. Let's send a solution over there. Oh, so they are, they are actually quite massive. This stack is actually big. I might need even more troops to take care of it. But first of all, let's give away this to... Uh, Let's give him the county of Åland. Lord Mayor Ulf of Åland. And then start making stuff of this. That should be all of them. Right, so this is quite unsettling. Uh, Hungary and Bohemia is over here. But seeing as they ha don't have, um, they haven't merged their stacks, we might be able to attack them over here. And also we can send uh, reinforcements in form of more mercenaries. And that's not a lot of ships. Let's grab those ships instead and dismiss these. Ships cost a lot. They do. They do cost a lot. So let's go for um, two more mercenary bands. To make the odds incredibly in our favor. Uh, these troops will never make it to battle. Let's dismiss them. Oh. Could claim this later on. If we have the time. That is. Right. Get over here. Now we, now we should start losing money. Yes, we do. Let's go to Danzig. Actually, let's go to Stol. What we don't want to do is cross this river. So we should go here to Kujavi and then attack. And hope that our superior uh, Viking powers help us in battle. Marienburg. Alright, they are sieging. That's not a good idea. Um, not the best of generals, but hey, what can one do? Let's do this. Oh, so they merged. Right, let's win this. Yes, we're winning it. Ahaha! <laughs> Pacifist power. And apparently I became wroth. And I imprisoned some uh, duke. We should probably counterattack them and take this when their troops are all defeated as we have the mercenaries and stuff already here 
Um, let's see, can we ransom him? Attila? Yes. Thank you. And then we'll quickly take this back. I think it's because of the war elephants that we won. No one expects elephants from Scandinavia. But it's a good thing that, uh, whatever are they called, the Chosen of Ashoka, they are really quickly, uh, they are really quick, and travel from India to Scandinavia in no time, splitting uh, their duties between the two continents, well, uh, areas rather, not continents per se. Do you give up? Uh, I'd really like that money, so I think I I'll go for, for a surrender. If I siege this, then um, I think they will give up, and I can always uh, re-siege it in the counter-attack. Alright, yes. Let's get back quickly and dismiss all of the troops. And then... We counterattack and take Kuyavi, and that means that we have uh, this um, protected by this uh, what's it called a river? Yeah, like a major river. I don't see why we wouldn't. No, th they don't have any troops. Hungary shouldn't have any troops. No, they don't have any troops. By the way, we can usurp this. Oh, they took this! <laughs> Let's take it. And give it to... Who's the best one? The one with the most stewardship. This one, of course, him. Um, Dutch... By the way, who took this? Pomerelia. Okay. Well, you, sir. We have the Duchy of Mecklenburg. Here you go. Uh, let's attack! Holy war for Kyagi. Raise all the troops. Send all the men here. Call in all the allies. Nice. Uh, let him rot. Sweet. The AI never does this. When they get defeated, or when they defeat someone in uh, an offensive war, they never counterattack. I don't know why, it's like the best strategy in the game. And this is why I assaulted it, because it hasn't recovered yet. Which means it's going to be super easy to siege. Who joined, by the way? Hungary joined. Well, Hungary doesn't have any men either. Right, Ragnar Ölfus is the new guy, leading the Republic. You surrender? Already? Oh, did I scare you? Um, a maimed little girl, I almost feel sad for her. Do you have any claims, by the way? County of Plock. Right, let's get rid of them. And we can get rid of the mercenaries now as well. Excellent work! I have to say that I am pleased with the outcome of this. And I can increase my retinues even more. Let's get some pikemen to fight off horses. Right, let's revoke the rest of the Catholics here. I think we are starting to hit the Catholic... Uh, moral authority quite hard now. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the religious authority. Yes, the authority of Catholicism is soon going to be surpassed by that of Orthodoxy. And Buddhism is going up. It's almost over 50 now. I wonder if that's all thanks to us. Maybe not. Maybe the Buddhists here have taken back some holy sites. I still only have the one. And I suppose Russia is winning. I don't really care. 
Alright, so you you hate me, of course you do, but you know. It's just because I haven't had a chance of giving this away yet. Right, now I'll give it to someone. You? You're not the best candidate, are you? Noble Tutil, oh excellent. You will have the county. Alright, so the vassals need a PC. Here, have uh, everything. Ma'am. Danish. Why would you ever want to be Danish? Yeah, with, with them gaining this much uh, relations from a simple gift, they will more than likely stop plotting this faction. Here, have money. Have all the money. Be a seneschal. Can you be anything? No, you already have a title. Right, would you leave the faction now? Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. By the way, Scandinavia. Empire of Scandinavia. 77%. Oh, we need a few more counties. This is part of Scandinavia. We could send some guys over here just to siege that. Maybe. Let's, uh, let's put these guys on a boat. Right, get on the boat. Meet up with these guys over here. Ah, another daughter. Sigrid. Alright. Russia won, and you hate me now. No, you don't. By the way, speaking of Denmark, I should try murdering her just so she isn't a carling anymore. Eh, barely anyone would join. Maybe it will. Maybe plotters will come with time, they usually do. Your claim on Orkne. That's what we want to do, I think. Buddhist underscore holy underscore war underscore desk. Hmm. A missing string ID. I guess I'll uh, uh, report that later. Anyway, did your claim on Orkne? Let's wait until the ships are over there. Might, might as well not waste the time. So that's a part of Scandinavia, and we would like it. Also, that would give us opportunity to go into Scotland. Alright, we're still earning loads of cash. Oh, by the way, <laughs> the war ended. Damn. No easy part of Scandinavia left to get them. Just the Danish parts. You can be over here. Hmm. Russian hole. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh, you're taking back Liebe. Yeah, do that. Another great leader of the Republic. Really kick Venice out soon. I wonder how much money I would get for kicking them out. That's another missing string ID, by the way. Embargo underscore CB underscore desk. Um, I would gain 273 ducats. That's barely anything, so I don't care. Get rid of the ships. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking up for us. Even though we have um, the weakest set of mercenaries I've ever seen, we managed to beat back 
Denmark and Bohemia at the same time. Uh, of course, Denmark didn't really fight back. But, you know, doesn't make it any less valid. Hmm. Oh, by the way, they have cap captured some... Ah, uh, no, I don't care about him. Hmm. I have to say that my mother is very long-lived. Hmm. Alright, so the next province we'll go for is probably Jylland. It's uh, worth a lot. Or, no, actually not Liebeck. Liebeck doesn't make much sense. Seeing as it's worth less. We have still not managed to convert any of these southern provinces, but we have converted most of this. I know that, like, Marienburg or something used to be Slavic, and the vassal who lives there must have converted it. Nice! Oh, by the way, has something happened here? Has the Ismailids lost the war? Um, so the Knights Templar have been pushed back, but they still hold Jerusalem with their capital in Beirut. They have culture shifted some stuff here and converted uh, a few promises. Are they defending? Yes, they are. Holy War for Fes. Oh, I see. By the way, French claim on Hispania. Is it still going? I thought Francia would have won that long ago. Apparently not. Hmm. Some of Mali's vassals seem to have converted to Islam. Uh, let him rot. By the way, you're Catholic. Demand religious conversion. Alright. Uh, flatter and soothe. Did this used to be a part of Poland? I don't remember. Poland looks very broken up, to be honest. We should probably start eating the last parts of Poland whenever we feel like it. But I don't want to extend too far down into... Uh, the center here. It's hard to defend. Alright, my daughter. Let's educate her. I'm sure my vassal can take care of her. It's this guy. He's awesome. No, he is... No, actually, no. I thought he was taking this, but someone is. And someone is from us, because that's a Buddhist symbol. Uh, Mecklenburgian Holy War. Oh well, we can take on East Francia. I don't think there's a doubt about that. Which means that we should take Brandenburg if we take this. Just because it's a great province. Four holdings, 73 base tax, etc. Jihad of Anatolia. <sighs> well, you might win this, seeing as the Byzantine Empire is fighting a revolt. Elective monarchy? Really? So Anatolia is all of this. Hmm. It would be interesting to see if they win. And Russia won. Hmm. Mahayana Buddhist? Why? Anyway, we have the sun we want. Wrong government type. Hmm. I don't really care. Oh, hold a Diwali feast. Let's hold another one of those. And are you still a Hindu? Can't make you change? No. Darn. So it appears as if my game crashed. I have reverted to the 1st of January of 1082. But I've decided to continue in the next episode anyway. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.